and welcome back to Let's Play Contact. Anyways, in between episodes, I basically went back and forth from the ship, changing into every single costume, and then stepping on the tiles. Here's a hint, don't forget to actually stop by the professor to recharge your decals, because you don't automatically get them back when you return to the ship. So that means I kind of had to walk all the way back a few times. Oh well, let's just step on the last tile. And we didn't learn anything from that, but we did get a higher... I think that was Earth Defense. But anyways, let's keep going now. And there's a skeleton in here. With the sword. These guys are actually kind of tough. Let's see if I can actually take them on. Alright, careful. Oh, nope, everything's attacking me now. Oh god, this is bad. Mochi, help! Come on, I believe in you. Let's see if you can actually do something today. And... Wait, is he actually doing something? Holy crap, he actually did something! That... Actually genuinely surprising that he actually succeeded in killing everything except the skeleton. Good job, Mochi. Yeah, there's a huge difference between level 1 and level 2 with Mochi. Also, we got the emblem. Let's get out of here now. In fact, there's such a huge difference that I am going to head back to the ship and recharge his uh, decal real quick. Plus, it's easier than walking all the way out. But yeah, that's what happens once you get, what once Mochi actually starts to like you. Let's just heal and head back. Good job, Mochi. I should get some more stickers. Oh, speaking of stickers. Yeah, yeah, just give me my, my decals. I forgot, one of the enemies dropped one and I never equipped it. Let's see what this one is. Uh, lock picking. uh, no, nothing I want to replace with that. Let's get rid of it. Alright, let's move on. Now that we have the emblem, we can head to the North Pyramid. And this time with a powered up mochi. That being said, I don't want to power him up too much, because stage 3 of his attack stuff isn't really that good. Stage 4 is, though, so maybe I'll keep leveling him up. And by leveling him up, I mean but t uh, tummy rubs. Because that makes him stronger for some reason. And like this guy. This thing just died. Wait, did I? Oh, wait, for some reason, it looks like I did have a weapon equipped. Weird. Oh, well, to the North Pyramid. Actually, before we head there, how many potions do I have? I have 20. That is plenty. Actually, are you the guy who sells potions? No, you're not. You're the guy who sells overpriced weapons. I don't need any of your weapons. I have a royal dagger. This is the wrong way. Let's go this way instead. I think you're the guy who sells potions. Yes, you do. I shall take five. Considering how much money I just got from killing all those things. I just realized I haven't been counting how many I actually bought. Okay, five. That should do. We have plenty of healing items at this point. Although I do want to get my cooking skill up still, so I might just make more potions when I get back to the ship. Also, Terry can't fit between mm. those, those trees. He's just too fat. Mm. And that snake didn't even see me. Neither did that one. Or that one. Snakes are kind of blind. Mm. Let's just murder this skeleton. No, don't raise your defense. Bring it back down. Good skeleton. Mm. And he's dead. Uh, I need, I really should get some more spices to actually cook up all this rotten meat I've been picking up. Anyways, let's put the emblem in heroically. Alright, in we go. Now then, there are a few things about this dungeon. First off, it's actually pretty goddamn long. There is a lot of stuff. Also, new enemy. Flying Demon Sarcophagi. Sarcophagus. I think Sarcophagi is the plural of Sarcophagus. Why am I debating this? Let's just keep going. Mummies. We'll avoid the mummies for now. 
skeletons with Okay, they have clubs, never mind. I was gonna say they had swords, they might have actually been a challenge. But nope, they have clubs. They still hurt though. But we're more than a match for them. But yeah, the skeletons with swords are actually pretty tough. They can do a lot of damage really quickly. Anyways, let's go over here. I think this is the one I want to look at. No, it's not. Yeah, this is why I brought the Knuckle Mole uh, costume. Because the Knuckle Mole can dig. And we got the Giant Worm. That's one of the more important things in, the, in this dungeon. You'll see what that does later. Just don't forget to pick it up your first time or else you're going to have to backtrack for it. Ow. What are you? I am stuck. I'm not exactly sure what those are. But it doesn't matter, they're dead now. Uh, I think there's something over here. Besides something else to kill. Ow. That'll show you to try burn me. Ooh, treasure. Ooh, enemy who was hiding behind the corner. And who didn't see me run right into him. That's completely de destroying his element of surprise. Also, I'm low on HP already. Ooh, Jambalaya. I forget what that, that does. That's not bad, but it takes forever to digest, so I'm just gonna have a potion. And a melon! That was my last melon. I miss my melons. I haven't had melon for so long. Of any type. Also, this is a dead end. I shouldn't go that way. Let's see, more priests. I think they're, like, supposed to be Egyptian priests with eagle heads? Well, it doesn't matter. We're killing them all. Oh, wow. We got critical. Yeah, criticals are actually surprisingly rare in this game, unless you have certain weapons equipped. I don't feel like dealing with you. Or your friend who doesn't seem to be paying attention at all. Oh, careful. Wow, he really they aren't, really aren't paying attention right now. Careful. Maybe we can sneak by them. Actually, screw it. I'm just getting him with some magic. That didn't do anything. Actually, no, that did about as much as a normal attack. I don't know why the enemies are so dumb right now. Normally, they're a lot better at spotting you. But right now, for some reason, they're just not looking at Terry. It's weird. Anyways, treasure. Anyways, mummies. Ooh, a potion. I'll just murder these... Oh, there are two of them now. Never mind. I'll murder both of these mummies and then get that potion. Also, he just drained my HP. He's kind of a jerk like that. No, no, he didn't drain it. He just recovered some. And he dropped a knuckle. That's not even as close to being as good as my dagger. That being said, the HP penalty kind of does hurt without the Knuckle Mole costume equipped. Careful. Ow. Ow. Everything's hurting me. Oh. I killed that bat. Okay. Anyway, sarcophagi. These things really are sarcophagi. Also, my HP is low. I just realized this. I shall have some meat. And an herb. I want to save my potions. Plus, I think there's a bathroom around here. Also, uh, what kind of decal is this? Ooh, no, I don't use fist weapons, so that's completely and utterly useless. The game hasn't really been giving me any good decals lately. Also, I don't want to go this way. I think I want to go this way. Let's see if we can outrun the enemies. Alright, uh, yeah, this is the room I want. Oh, crap, one sec. Alright, that's fair. Anyways, we want to go down here. This is the bathroom. Alright, we'll take a quick bath. And before we head to bed, there's something else in this room I want to get. It's down here. Basically, just follow this hallway. This is actually a pretty important side quest right here. And now poke the flamingo. Okay, come on. Drift right down. There we go. I just got the thief's map. 
and we just unlocked a really important side quest. But we'll do that after we're done with this area. Even though technically we could just go do it now. But we really don't need it yet. Anyways, time for a nap. Alright, nap time. And we're not gonna play with Mochi right now. We only play with him at the end of episodes. Not at the beginning. Or in the mid actually it's the middle right now. This is a this isn't even close to the beginning of the episode. Also, I didn't realize I just ran to a giant group of enemies. Let's just position ourselves. And then do that. Ow. One of them dropped a the chicken. I just recovered my HP and oh crap, they got me stun locked. Uh Oh wait, there's a chicken back here. Nope, there isn't. Well then, back to the bathtub. Yeah, they can kind of stun lock you if you get stuck in between them. Also, you wasted all my EP on that. I should probably be more careful. Probably. Careful. I can take you on at least. Yeah, you can't hit me, and that bat isn't even in range of me. Hmm. Alright, let's try to get more EP. Ooh, more chicken. I should cook that up later. Get more cooking skill points. Actually, what is my cooking at right now? Uh, 21. It could be better. It could be a lot better. Also, I can't remember what the name of these guys are. The guys with the jackal heads. I am drawing a blank, but they're carrying a whole lot of money, so I don't care. Also, okay, that was a bat. I was thinking, did I run into an enemy or something? Nope, they're just bats. That guy wasn't a bat. Ow. Crap. I am stuck in between two enemies. I'm gonna kill the bat first. Just so he stops stunlocking me. On the other hand, since these guys are so strong, I'm gaining stats really quickly. I'm also losing HP really quickly. Ow. You know what, screw it, I need EP. I'll just kill everything along the way. Unless they put me to sleep. Twice. Terry, wake up! This is not the time to sleep. Oh, there are two of them, that's why. Okay, yeah, I need a, I need a potion. Terry, kill the bat already. Stop missing! Thank you! Maybe I can sneak by- Nope, I can't sneak by that guy. Screw it, we're gonna fight this. No, don't use double attack. That would be a waste of EP. Let's see, bats I don't need to worry about. Actually, you know, I'll kill this one. I do need the EP. And they don't do that much damage. Okay, yeah, they're doing quite a bit of damage. Uh, should I risk it? Yeah, I'll just take it. I am starting to get full. How much is it? Okay, 15 seconds. That'll digest pretty quickly. Let's see, anything else over here? Besides this guy who I'm gonna kill? There we go. And then we'll kill this bat. Ow. I thought I was out of range of him. Guess not. Alright, and spin attack. Yeah, I really like the spin attack. Just because it pushes everything away and it kills everything around you, basically. Well, that was weird. I don't know why the why my uh, computer keeps freaking out like that. Oh, well, whatever. Moving on. Uh, I don't need any more EP, so I'll ignore these guys. Oh, hey, it's that monkey. Oh, and uh, those two, but who cares? I'm pretty sure that's the same monkey from La, La Chef Beach. I remember Lester. We beat him up. Twice. Twice. 
That's the important thing, we beat him twice. Oh. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't tell your enemies that you're gonna snap them in half. Ooh. Right when Ooh. they're next to you. Ooh. With the sword. Ooh. You know, if we were smart, we would have stabbed them in the back during that conversation. Hi. Um. Well then. Time for a boss battle. As soon as I get- there we go. Alright, let's- ow. Actually, let's chug a potion before we fight Bull. Anyways, this is Bull. He's not as tough as Lester. That's just it. He, uh, he's not very tough compared to Lester. He does knock you back with his attacks, though, which can be annoying. Also, I'm gonna change position so I'm out over here so we can actually- oh crap, he's gonna charge me. He does charge you every once in a while, but it doesn't hurt that much. Anyways, I'm gonna have a coconut. And a potion. Honestly, as long as you, as long as you have, like, about four potions or so, you, this battle isn't gonna be very tough. Especially since we got some more strength. Ow, okay, yeah, he's just spamming that for some reason. Okay, you're being a jerk. I almost called him Lester. You're being a jerk, bull. Screw it, I'm gonna waste CP on you. That didn't do as much as I hoped it would. And then he is not dead yet. One minute. Now he's missing everything at least. Finally, my high evasion pays off. And now he's dead. Why do we just let them tell HQ about this? Oh, hey, it's Mint! Tell Mint I said hi! Uh, that bout took like a minute. And then he disappears. But he drops his weapon. He dropped the beat knuckle. That's not the beat knuckle, that's a normal knuckle. Where is the beat knuckle? There's the beat knuckle. It's pretty good. Actually, it's really good, but I, like I said, I am concentrating on bladed weapons. Just because I like the passive uh, block it comes with. Anyways, bath time. And with this, I think we'll end the episode here. So next time on Let's Play Contact, we continue into the pyramid. Maybe we'll find Mint and Lester and then beat them up. So then, till next time. Oh wait, no, before we end, of course. Once it finishes saving, there is still one thing we have to do. Isn't that right, Mochi? Go play on the keyboard for a while. Why would you say something like that? This came out in like 2003, or so. Um, how does he know? My room is actually kind of a mess right now. How does he know? Oh crap, sorry Mochi. Here, get on your back. Let's give you a belly rub. Or a seizure, I can't really tell. Oh, oh, it's time to wake up. Alright, till next time.